it's so weird without Je without Steven here because I like I won't have my buddy. I'm just gonna go. It's just gonna have like an empty seat for him, so you can always just reference him. Oh, I, and very, if I almost <laughs> got a sock just to like have on my hand to be like I'm Rachel, oh, and I'm Steven, which is also by the way what I almost did early stream days just to troll him because he kept like forgetting to say anything, and I almost was like I'll do it live, I'll do it by myself. Who needs anybody? Hi everybody, I'm Rachel, and we are the Faint Divinities. We're a channel here on Twitch if you're watching us live, uh, but also on YouTube if you're watching us later. Hello to you in the future. We have a Discord, a Twitter, an Instagram. We have it all. Find us wherever you want. Uh, I am missing my co-host today. We're going to talk about that in a second, but our channel is dedicated to playing Daggerheart, which is the new tabletop RPG from Darrington Press and Critical Role that is currently in open beta version 1.4.1. But if you've noticed from the title, we are not playing Daggerheart tonight. Um, because again, Steven, my co-pilot, is not actually here today. Uh, it is Memorial Day weekend for those of you in the U.S. Well, it's Memorial Day for us in the U.S., even if you don't exist here. Uh, and he has family in town. So instead of that, we as a group are going to get together and play something that I've been very excited about recently, which is from the same group. And we're gonna use it to build out our world that we're playing in Daggerheart. So we're gonna be playing today from Darrington Press, the makers of Daggerheart, for the Queen, which is a new storytelling uh, card game. Uh, it is, oh man, I do want to take some time to look at the packaging and everything because it's beautiful. If it's it's available on their website, it's also in a lot of stores, including a lot of their guild stores. I found out today that there are some queens that are missing from the deck if you just get it from Critical Role. So we have to make a bounce over to a guild store to get those other ones because I really want them. But the packaging is incredible. It has It's made to look like a storybook. It has like the pages and everything. And then when you open it, it's magnetized so that it stays shut. That's incredible. And then you open it to like a little storybook. Also, look at this. They thought of everything. So your cards never get stuck. There's a little ribbon there to pull them out. And the last thing that I want to show before we kind of get into stuff is the credits they have the credits right there inside of the box which is fantastic um this is i think the second generation of the game um it was originally by alex roberts and th they were very included into this pro process and everything but it's really just the the critical role in darrington press groups they really think a lot about the things that they make and you can really feel it um but I was trying to figure out how we were going to play this live because um, we are all in different locations and everything. And I realized that there is a better way. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is actually the Roll20 website. So they have an online version of the game if your friends are in different places. And hi, Squire, we're getting started with the introduction here for For the Queen again, right there. Um, but if you don't have friends right there in person at a table that you can play with, then you can make an account on Roll20. I believe one person does have to purchase the game, in this case, me. Um, but then you can invite your friends to play it with you and it's gonna function almost identically so that's what you're seeing here in this game today a little bit about this game again it's a storytelling card game so the whole purpose is that we are going to be improvising a queen character and then building a story around who she has is, is as a person and then who we are her loyal, maybe, their loyal retinue following her along a peacekeeping mission. Um, to that, again, I said that I think this is going to work perfectly with what we're doing here on the channel. I'm really excited about it because we are right now in the Blue Marshes. Kayla, would you mind? I know you just, I know, like a waiter at a table that's like, are you enjoying your food when your mouth is full? 
Just so and, that I'm not oh, going on and on, would you mind telling us a little bit about the Blue Marshes in our current game, like the areas and, you know, kind of things about that okay, area? Okay, so, yeah. So Black Femme Hollow is where Anora is from. That is the smallest, and it's a, it's a little island, and they're not really doing good right now. There's a mystery fog, you know. Uh, the crops aren't doing well. They're not getting their bloodworms and stuff. So things aren't going well there. And then to the west, where there's more caves, is Greenhaven. They're doing very well. They are probably, like, the fanciest of all the places. And their crops are, like, spiders and stuff. And they actually, like, milk the spider venom. It's wild. It's wild. So, and then on the other side is Cat... T wait, yeah, it's Cattail Grotto. And it kind of, like, looks a little bit like, I would say, like, the Shire in, um, you know, oh. Lord of the Rings. And they, they sell alcohol there. So, like, that's their thing. Did I know that piece? I probably I, did. It's in the homework. Okay, so my bad. I don't my have bad. it up there. I, I, I knew most this. of it. I remember the Shire piece yeah. a little bit, I think. I don't mm -hmm. know if I remembered the alcohol part. Is it just like yes. grain alcohol? Okay. Yes, yes. Do so they, they have like rolling twice? meadows and stuff like that. Do they what now? Do they do breakfast twice? Oh, Second no, breakfast? Don't. I couldn't oh. take it all. <laughs> just no, a single yeah. breakfast. Yeah. That's a sad day. Just one. Uh, <laughs> like, I love that. And it's so all, it's, it's moonshine for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for that. Yeah. The Blue Marshes is, we were really excited when Daggerheart dropped, as a lot of people were, about the Ribbit kind of group mm -hmm. and uh, ancestry option. And I told Kayla very early on that I wanted to do a homebrew kind of area of Ribbits. And she was she was so sweet. I didn't ask her to, but she made a ribbit character for us. Uh, and it's so in keeping with what we're doing here on this channel because she made a highborn ribbit that is the spare to the throne of Black Gum Hollow. And right now in our game, we are actually diving into the mystery there and usurpers and <laughs> glass snakes and all kinds of stuff. Um, scary, spooky um, songs. Yes, yeah. scary spooky songs by Midnight Syndicate. Not in our stream tonight, but we love them all the same. <laughs> um, but we haven't, though, really seen the other two kingdoms that make up, I don't know, Ribitania. No, the Blue Marshes, uh, <laughs> Cattail Grotto, and then Greenhaven. So we're going to use for the queen again. I'm just going to show it as every chance I get because it's just so pretty. Um, we're going to use that to build out our world a little bit. It's in keeping with the nature of Daggerheart. It's this collaborative storytelling. Darrington Press is just killing it. Um, so we're going to take a moment away from Black Gum Hollow, and we're going to go into antiquity. We're talking a century ago, okay? A hundred years, maybe a hundred and fifty years ago, Kayla, back when the peoples of Cattail Grotto and Greenhaven are in the midst of a terse relationship. I don't know why, and we'll, we might figure that out together as we kind of play through this game, but there is something going on in the Blue Marshes. Blackham Hollow is out of it for the most part to keep our kind of story structurally sound, but there's something in Cattail Grotto and something between Greenhaven. And the way that this game works is the first step of it is, and we're going to be doing this in roll 20 again but i'm going to be kind of showcasing some of the card aspects as we start to dive into it together um but so when you're in roll 20 you can kind of see my mouse moving around here you do have three areas you have the queen area you have the rules and you have the questions. This is such an easy game to pick up. It's so good for improv. If you're trying to get into that tabletop RPG improv headspace, play around of this. Fantastic. I think the first step is going to be choosing your queen. And we've already chosen tonight, but I'm going to show you guys a couple of them just as like fun things. Um, you know, something I was really impressed with was how different some of the queens are you know you have like this one which jokingly in the community is called the amy carrero queen um but one of the cards that you get inside of the deck actually has all of the names of the queens and the artists you can also see that if you hover over in roll 20 by the way this is by maxine v it's the birthday queen um 
We have one that Chris and I have played together already, uh, which is the Witch Queen. We made her and it was beautiful, you know. Um, if you guys have been following Darrington Press, again, do it. They played on Instagram, kind of a collaborative storytelling with the community of the Battle Queen. Um, oh, and so sorry, I, I missed kind of communicating who that Witch Queen was. I do want to like just pay, always paying respects to our artists artists as much as we can. That's by Kelsey Ang. Uh, the Battle Queen by Chelsea Ortega. She is gorgeous, beautiful. I did not vote for her to be the queen, though, because I voted for the Dream yeah. Queen. Mm -hmm. Oh, by Silly Chaotic. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys know that I loved this queen so much that I made her part of our home game. I made her mm -hmm. the faint glimpse divinity, the, the glimpse. Oh. Yes, mm -hmm. as part of our Sablewood Messengers arc. But we're going to put all of that aside for today, and we're going to focus on the queen that Kayla selected for our game, which... The best one. The is prettiest one. The prettiest one. The prettiest <laughs> one. Oh, you know what? It's I'm going to do this real quick. I want to go ahead and put these all back so they're not kind of trying to, trying to uh, fight for positioning here. I'm going to recall all of those, and then I'm just going to grab her out again. Here we go. She chose this one. This is is the undead queen by karina pavlova of weird undead that's the first step um I, I think we might get to it as part of the rules as well but that's the first step is choosing your queen you don't need to figure anything about it <laughs> uh, because we're going to figure that out together hi gmc bob mm -hmm. yeah we're playing Qu yeah. kill the queen no mm -hmm. who knows maybe it really depends on how the game goes he's already know? dead which, you know, uh, dead again, again dead, twice dead, you know, um, but. A quick question, uh, yeah. since we're uh, kind of setting this in like a uh, black Gone home kind of in general area. Uh, the blue marshes, uh-huh. We need to keep the uh, just kind of uh, lens in our mind. This is a frog queen. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank okay. you so, so much. Imagine this girl a frog. Yeah. Any of the queens that we had selected, they are getting retooled as a frog. But Kayla was very clear. We're still having the exposed rib cage. Mm -hmm. She still yes, that's has very important to me. The the Her mask and the skull. Mm -hmm. We still doing stuff. Yes. I also want everybody like when you are looking through these, I really want you to look at the backgrounds of all of these cards. They're incredible. This one has a chessboard in the back. So. Oh, I love her. Very um, smart queen. Very uh, studious. Very <laughs> smart queen. Very studious. Okay. So now we're at the second part of this. So the second piece is going to be reading the rules. We're going to read them together. GMC Bob, what color of hat? White. She's a queen. She's a monarch. Yep. She, yep. A monarchs wear white hats. Reigning in the blue monarchs. Marshes. Yep. Yep. Hi, Alex. It's so good to see you. I think uh, I think Alex is a uh, kind of little friend of mine. I won't call out it or anything, but hi, it's so good to see you. Um, anyway, so the next piece is we're going to go through the rules. I love, again, how collaborative this game tries to be from the very start because it goes around and we're all going to read the rules together. I will go first just to kind of get it there. If anybody has trouble, remember to let me know. I'm going to choose the first card and play it down in the rules section here on roll 20. First rule is go around the table clockwise, taking turns reading these cards aloud, and then Justin is going to select number two for us and read it. Number two, uh, the land has been in turmoil for as long as many, or as any of you have been alive. So, and then... how, how long do parks live? <laughs> A uh, full 100 years. We found this Everybody out in the knows. source material. Absolutely. So, like, all right. And three, then, right? yep, you're going to be three. Okay. Yeah. The queen has decided to undertake a long and perilous journey to broker an alliance with a distant power. Mm. And then four is you, Let me drag it where it goes. Okay. The queen has chosen all of you and no one else to be her retinue and accompany her on this journey. Fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and choose the fifth card. So rule five is she chose you because she knows that you love her. Aww. Justin. She's assuming a lot. She really is because <laughs> the end of this game is crazy. <laughs> like... uh, number six. Uh, you are welcome. 
You are welcome to look through the illustrated cards for inspiration. If there is one that players are drawn to, display it on the table to represent your queen. We've done that. We have done that with the undead queen in the center of the play space. Uh, number seven. Find the card that reads the queen is under attack. Do you defend her and remove it from the question card deck? Then shuffle the remaining question cards and place them face down in the center of the table. Yeah. And again... Before we move on to Kayla, this is the piece that Roll20 isn't going to do perfectly for us. I have a number in mind of cards that we're going to draw, but just assume that at some point this would be drawn from the deck and we would play it. So we're going to continue, but we do have that card. The queen is under attack. Do you defend her? Which will come up um, hopefully about an hour into the game. All right. <clears throat> place the card that reigns... Wait, isn't... Okay, the queen is... Isn't that the one we just read? No, no, no. You're good. This is no. the second okay. part of that. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Place the card that reads, the queen is under attack. Do you defend her randomly into the middle of the question card deck for a game that lasts about an hour or into the bottom third of the deck for a game that lasts about two hours? Which I think is cool as well. The Summer Games do that really successfully of having different ways to kind of mitigate the length of play. Um, Chris and I have played one that we were like, we only have 20 minutes. Let's do this real rapid fire. And it was it was really successful. It worked out really well. I think this is an it's awesome riveting. game. Yeah. All right. <laughs> card nine. Rule nine. When you have read the rules cards, we are going to take turns drawing question cards and reading them aloud. Interpret your card and answer it however you wish. Oh, I got two of them. Okay. <laughs> They're struggling. Uh, number 10. Other players may ask you questions uh, or make suggestions on your turn, but whether you answer those questions or include those suggestions is entirely up to you. So each question is for a specific person. Yeah, okay. we're going to go around and each person gets a question, but we can always fill in. We can suggest. It's collaborative. Darrington Press is doing it, you know? All right. Uh, number 11. Place the X card somewhere everyone can easily reach it. Yep. All right. And then Kayla. Mm -hmm. If you encounter a question or an answer that you don't want to be included in the game, tap the X card. That content is removed from the game. Safety first. I love that so much, yeah. And Roll20 did a fantastic job of it. It's right there as one of the cards that you can choose. Absolutely. All right. Rule 13, if I can find it, it's at the very bottom. There we go, grab that. If you draw a card that is removed this way by yourself or someone else, simply draw another card and continue your turn as usual. 14, you can also choose not to take a turn uh, on any round. To do so, say pass. And the next player can answer the question you drew or draw another one as they prefer. And 15, continue answering question cards until the queen is under attack. Card is drawn. I think I ordered that word. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Each player should answer the question in turn. Then the game is over. Mm -hmm. And then the very last one is card 17. And I just love that the rules are so easy and quick. Whoever wants to can draw the first question card. And that is the end of the rules. It's super quick. Again, it kind of puts the collaborative nature of the game at the very forefront of the game as soon as it's happening. So we can start with whomever wants to start and they can draw the first question card. Who wants to go? Not me. I'm anxious. Uh, I'll go for it. Go for it. Go for it, yeah. I drag it. There it is. <laughs> yeah. right. The queen ordered you to do something you knew you would regret. Have you forgiven yourself for doing it? Okay, and so for reference, right, we're with Lady Greenhaven on a boat going to Gato yeah, Grotto. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yes. sorry. So to build this world a little bit more, remember, we're just dropping this right into antiquity of the Blue Marshes about a century ago. And the undead queen is 
potentially seeking to broker a peace uh, as the Queen of Greenhaven with the monarchy, king, queen, whomever, of Cattail Grotto. Because in our world this is separated by a sea, um, they are going to be traveling by ship. So in this case, we're on a ship, guys. We're on a boat again. Welcome back to a boat. So on a ship. Okay. So in that case, I'm the boat's chef. And cool. the queen ordered me to feed the crew some unsavory uh, things, I think. Cannibalism already? Yeah. <laughs> so frog fast. Legs. Frog legs. No. We lied. They were frog legs. We said they were chicken. Oh, my God. The frog legs <laughs> of our enemies. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, just to be clear, ribbits or frogs? Surely frogs. Yeah, ribbit legs. Yeah. Or toads. Okay. Ribbit legs, it's cannibalism, Rachel. Okay, man. It has to be big, momentous, you know? We are immediately telling the, the story of who this lady is. Okay, I think that- I'm so lady. pleased. There's a second part of that too. Have you forgiven yourself for doing it? Ooh. Do you all worry if that was like, maybe like a joke and she didn't, th she was like, you know, casually kind of said that and you like misinterpreted? You never know. I uh, haven't forgiven myself quite for doing it because my reputation as a chef was on the line mm. and it was, you know, mm. unsavory, even though the dish was savory. <laughs> Ew, disgusting. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> awful. I hate it so much. <laughs> like, I think I'm going to turn you up a little bit too, Chris. I think like you're, you're a little quiet to me. I don't know if you're quiet to others. Again, testing, folks. Testing, testing. If you're oh, watching and you hear any weird audio issues, please let me know. All right, there we go. All right. Well, thank you. Brian, the mid letter. I'm sorry, I was looking at the chat. Oh, I thought you were. Oh, yes, <laughs> thank yes, you. Yes. GMC Bob is always there for us with a little bit of salt. Listen, most of us are from an area of Texas that is very close to Louisiana. We really enjoy frog. I don't know if you, any, any of y'all do. Chris. I think they're great. I think, yeah, I think they're fun to make their little legs jump across the plate. That was the part I didn't like. Didn't <laughs> love that part. <laughs> like, like, all right. Okay. Off to a rip roaring start. Oh my God. And at this point, so Kayla, since we're going in a circle, it's your turn. Yeah. So Remember, do I you, just press the draw button? You're going to just no drag way. straight over from the draw deck and make sure you drop it there in the center to kind of find it. It's like the rules. And I if believe. it gets lost, you could try another one. It's totally fine. Did it work? There you go. Oh, there I can see went, it. I can see it coming. I it. I've got it. Okay. When did you know you would never forgive the queen? Ooh. Ooh okay. Um, what did she do to you? What did she do to oh, you? Oh, okay. So I'm just like a regular crew member. Nothing fancy about me. A girl ribbit. I have a boyfriend ribbit that like, I don't know. He was working on the sales or something like that, but he's a prankster. And you see how she in the picture like has this like, I it I'm gonna say it's a porcelain face mask that she puts on to cover her skull. Oh. He stole it, <gasps> like as a little funny haha -ha moment. And she did not take kindly to that, and she made him walk the plank. And I had to watch the plank. <gasps> yes. And she made you watch? Wait, did yeah. I miss it? I think you just said you're a girl. We haven't built out anything else about you, Josh. I just randomly decided, yeah. This I'm, is I'm, fine. Well, I'm a girl I'm and I like work. I'm just a regular crew person. I love you know? that so much. So yeah. you are mourning yeah, the loss. Coming. Man, I think we have a mutiny in our hands here, guys. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. I love that so much. It's my turn to go. So I'm going to go ahead and drag a question card in. Oh my gosh, this deck really wants us to hate this queen. This, Shade deck. In your eyes, what makes the queen ugly? Okay. I mean, it could be like just her tone. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing, right? Is that when we've been playing this, I think that your brain goes to first first answers when you're looking at the card, right? I find that to be a little bit boring. So I keep trying to find like things that I find more interesting. It would be easy to say, yeah, she's a skull, so I'm not I'm not like super into mm. that, you know, for me Big personally. Deep. Yeah, but <laughs> I think in my eyes, what makes the queen ugly is. I would say her lust for power. 
I would say. Like, I find it to be distasteful. I think that she even maybe, I don't know who I am just yet, but I'm one of the people in her inner circle that know her a little bit more. She wears a mask so frequently, both figuratively and literally, that a lot of people don't know how, what that she would stop at nothing. And I know that. And that makes her ugly to me. I'm a little suspicious of her. All right. I like it. Justin. Queen thinks more highly of you than you do yourself. How do you know this? Aww. I'm thinking I know this because she's told me ever since I was born. That's, that's my grandma. Oh my God, a chosen one moment. His grandma. <gasps> <laughs> Wait a minute. What? As a, as a grandma toad, yeah. Are you, do you, oh are you deciding Your already? royalty now. Your royalty. How royal? Red hat? Well, it would be red hat now I'm until still, he rules. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm thinking, you know, like not not direct line, or you know, like there, there's a couple generations before me that would, you know, if she finally repasses, like you know, then, you seventh know, in line to the throne. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Down. Oh my god. This is. But yeah, I think she just talked me up uh, since I was little, like you know, that's great, great kid. But I'm just like, I'm, like I said, like, I'm seventh in line. I'm just not a big deal. Oh, yeah. They all me. Oh no. Oh. Haven. My brain went to Jimbo immediately again. I think that my mm-hmm. heart is just like so sad by every character you make, Justin. You hurt my feelings. I'm not, I'm just imagine a little, 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 little derpy little short guy. That's kind of, you know, oh, just a, you no know, problem. also big guys, very much are very similar to yours. Uh, your character's just all over the place, but he's just in there, got his little, little royal hat on. Mm-hmm. He's ready to go. Oh, okay. Grandma might be a skeleton, but. We just gotta ignore that. Yeah, listen, some people with skeletons. They still got heart. <laughs> that is so cute. I love that. Okay, cool. Chris, it's your turn. We're back to the front. Oh, it... Let's do it. There we go. All right. Why are some others at the royal court jealous of your relationship with the queen? Mm. Um... Okay, okay. The chef? Well, I'd say as her chef, I sometimes am like also her personal chef. So mm-hmm. I go into her quarters mm. quite a bit and. You go into her quarters. It would be she doesn't have like, you know, you know, <laughs> you know that's the implication. You got the a little implications. What were you saying, like Justin? Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it could yeah. be like she doesn't like, you know. Since the taste is like her big thing, she doesn't have much else. Oh, tragic. Justin is really bringing my heart out. I'm going to fight for the queen. Remember, guys, the whole end of this is do we support the queen or not when she gets under attack? So Justin's really making me me think a little bit differently. I mean, I think she ugly, but maybe I think she nice. I don't know. Um, wow. Okay. That's crazy. Good job. I... I don't know if you confirmed that you're in a romantic relationship with her, but my headcanon is that you are. He said daddy chef, so... Yep, at the very be. least, it's a side piece, you know? A little, a little snack. <laughs> Worked off a little bit of royal steam that way. He is snack. Oh, no, absolutely not. Just like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so good. Kayla, your turn. Let's see. What question do you wish you could ask the queen and what keeps you from asking it. So what mm-hmm. question do you wish you could ask the queen and what keeps you from asking it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And she picked you to come on this. Yeah, she. that's, Why that's you? true. I'm going to say, like, maybe she was just, like, a scullery, scullery maid and she doesn't know why she's here. Like, she wasn't even really her favorite. Why am I here? It's like, she says that she loves me. Maybe we'll figure out why or I love her, or why I love her later. But she doesn't know why she's on this boat. But why aren't you asking it is even more interesting than... Do you... I'm scared. <laughs> because I saw what she did to my man. <laughs> I ain't trying to go in the water. I didn't get in the water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, excellent. Oh my gosh. Okay, my turn. My turn. This is one of. Oh, that's a rule. Oh my. Get it out of there. <laughs> we do not need a rule. We need a question. Oh my gosh! I'm getting the dichotomy here. Oh my you know, goodness. This would be a you situation. Said why she was ugly. This could now be an a, a situation where I pass, and I think that I'm going to oh. utilize that rule right now. I'm going to pass this one because I said the ugly one, and it's going to go to Justin. It's your turn. Oh, I got an idea. Great. Uh, honestly, uh, her, her wardrobe and how she, you know, uses like her, you know, her. her it's going to sound a little weird coming from her grandkid, but you know, like her body yeah, to is. like, you know, you know, have a unique outfit. I mean, I'm imagining. Like, you know, she's kind of skeletal and her bones showing stuff, but I imagine she definitely still has her frog tongue and it's definitely just hanging out through her ribs and she uses it kind of like a scarf. Uh, it is very creative. Why did you just throw it over her shoulder? My yeah. God. Like a continent. What a vision we painted of this woman. <laughs> that is so... It's just very creative. Yeah, oh, man, just this <laughs> woman is so wild. Creative. Oh, everybody's so creative. Wearing the tongue as a scarf, mm, just wild. Just, Jesus, oh my god. Okay, okay, yeah. all right, great, fantastic. That brings it back, Chris, to you. Oh, right, that went fast. I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, when it passes a turn, you got to be quick on your feet. All right, I drag and I drag. Okay. Drag and I drag. Yeah. Other than the queen, there is someone else in this retinue that you love. Why are oh you keeping God. it a secret? Plot twist, side piece has a side piece. It's a quarter piece, oh. I guess. <laughs> Sounds like the chef is everybody's daddy. You keeping me on my toes. I was also in love with the uh the boy <laughs> who got thrown overboard. Oh my god. Kayla, it's, it's interesting. We got to go down the paths that come to us, you know? I know that Kayla felt passionately about that because she's forgotten she's on mute. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. Yeah. He's cheating on me? With the chef? With daddy chef? Back. Yep. Yep. Those frog so legs. They this were boat is wild, guys. I don't know what's happening in Greenhaven. I've lived through our campaign thinking that it's just like this upstanding civilization. Turns out, I don't know, ho in the galore. Just wild over there. Crazy. All right. I mean, listen, you know, go off. But why are you keeping it a secret? I would beat his ass. <laughs> I don't want to tarnish his memory. Okay. All right. Maybe it needs to be Turnish. She would be so sad. I could be persuaded, maybe, you know, in my <laughs> path to revenge. I could need an ally. Oh my gosh. Y'all are going to run away together. Right? To broach that because you're like, well, maybe she'll just kill me instead. Mm. Yeah, what a so choice. It my in my back pocket. Yes, Kayla, it is your turn now. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Do I pick another one? You can. You can pass it okay, if you want. See. Okay. I had, okay. I had, let's see. Um, so we had my. You boy, can also oh draw another one if you want. Whatever you'd like. It's, it's up to oh, you. Oh, yeah. You basically already answered this. Exact is it okay one. if I do, like, it's, it's not too dramatic, is it? If I just keep going? Girl, go for it. It. Build that drama. Okay, I, had a, I had a twin sister, and we were both scullery maids together. And the other sister like spilled something like back at home onto her beautiful gown, like one of them, and it threw her into a rage. She didn't kill her directly, though. She just banished her from the castle. You can't work in here. Nobody would hire her. She starved to death on the street in poverty. Okay, I would like to introduce, you know, how like this is collaborative and everything. I would like mm -hmm. to introduce a concept and you see if you like it, you can disregard it if okay. you don't. Because that's the way it works. You're the final mm -hmm. sayer of your person. Mm -hmm. But it seems like the, you know that there's something you want to ask her. And it's why did she bring you along? You're afraid mm -hmm. to ask that. It seems like she's killing off anyone that gets too close to you or is too close to you. Uh, why would she care so much about who you are as a person? Do you know what I'm saying kind of a thing? Do what you're saying. It's curious. It's curious. curious, isn't it? Very curious. It sure is. Very curious. <laughs> okay, okay, I like okay. It. I like My... it. I'm gonna keep it. 
Fantastic. Mm. Uh, my turn for a question. All right. Ooh. Okay. All I know so far about myself is that I'm kind of more so in her inner circle and I think that her lust for power is ugly, but this, you were once summoned to a private meeting with the queen. Why did you feel disappointed afterward? I would say that I am, I want to be, I want to be a war person. I want to, I am like the captain of her guard. Yes, absolutely. And I have always felt that she is going to entrust in me the full control of our armada. We're like a coastal nation, right? We have an armada. Mm -hmm. But she, the tyrant that she is, she doesn't actually let me have the power, the control, the power that I want. That's why I hate her insatiable like lust for control is it's affecting me too. I felt disappointed because at the end, not only did she not give me the power that I so long for, I think I would be a good leader, I want to prove myself, but in point of fact, she introduced her nephew as my second in command and I feel that she is grooming him to take my position. Not nepotism. uh, Not nepotism. (laughs) What, Justin? Do you think you're a little upset that, like, we're going to do peace talks when you could just go to war? You could lead an army. I do. I do think that I'm a little bit upset about that. But I also am suspicious. I think maybe our queen, the undead queen, I don't think that I trust that it is peace talks. I think maybe it's all a ruse. And maybe the hope that I have in my heart is in that last moment, she's going to unleash me. And I'm going to get to really murder some people, you know? I'm very excited about it. Just a little cute girl. Just just girly things. <laughs> a little murder. Yeah. yeah, a little murder as a treat. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I'm slightly worried if we decide to let her live, we may just be creating some big bad for us to deal with later. I think that's fantastic. That's the ex- that's the thing that I'm excited for as part of this game is this she is going to get out of a crypt. This gets to influence our game. I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Oh my god, she's a, a necromancer of Thay vibes. All right, Justin, All right. your okay. turn. What did you do that disappoints the queen on this journey? Her grandson? (laughs) With his eyes? What are you Uh, doing? Honestly, more for the visual on him. I don't know if if y'all have seen the the Trolls cartoon movie, but I'm just imagining like the little, like the kid king or whatever. That's just like that kind of like built. That's how he's built. I love that. That's amazing. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. His pants like up really high. Why? He wears um, a red hat, but it's like tilted and a little too small. Fantastic. Like that ranking of Kings anime. Have you guys seen that? I have. Uh, I have not. Oh, I have. Of Thumb course I have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris is like, yeah, you have. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we're bringing like, we're bringing some stuff. If we're going out for peace talks, it may be like, we're, we're the ones not wanting war to happen. So we're traveling over there. Maybe we're bringing some stuff to like, kind of pay them off. Uh, or like, hey, here, here's, you know, agreement, everybody chill. Uh, I definitely was poking around just because I'm interested in kind of like seeing what all was in there. And I may have like almost gotten caught. So I panicked and like possibly knocked some overboard or like out the window uh, and just, you know, lost some of what we need. Not the tea in the harbor. <laughs> Maybe it was the food. Maybe that's why she had to start like <gasps> using. The, oh, my God. The rations. Oh. The rations. That's where the cannibalism. Oh. Is. Circular storytelling. Mm-hmm. Love this game. We love a callback. Also, hi, Cinda Window. I saw it a while back, but I'm so glad you're enjoying it. I this <laughs> game is so fun to me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm down for the rations route. The rations route. I love it. I'm so glad that you agreed because it fits perfectly. Oh man, I wanted to kill you. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the idiot child. Okay, go ahead, Chris. Sorry. I thought I was just being picky not one to eat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know the secret. What do you do that pleases the queen on this oh, journey? Oh, hey now. my Ooh, God. Hey. We already that, know. That to work. Mm-hmm. The easiest one is that I provide my services. Both of them. <laughs> we'll dig deeper. We'll dig deeper. We'll, sure we'll, will. We'll, sure will. We'll like, I'll give the people avenue. what they want. <laughs> 
Okay. Ooh, what pleases the queen? I think what pleases the queen is that I am a little bit malleable. Um, I don't necessarily fall on the sword for my principles. You know, I will do what it takes to survive. If it's feeding yeah, people frogs, I'll too. feed them the frogs. <laughs> I'm not the, going overboard. The like the the dirty jokes are writing themselves <laughs> falling on the sword is just like Shakespeare would be having a field day right now. He says sheath who. All right. Okay. Oh my god, that was amazing. Wow. I love, I love this. I'm having a good time. Isn't it such a fun yeah, game? Fun. Isn't Never it so it fun? Too, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, listen, I'm trying to keep track of how many cards we've been through, but I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All right, um, Kayla, your turn. The queen knows something about you that no one else does. What is it? Hmm. We're going to say, um, so everybody else thinks that I just came to the castle to, like, get work. You know, just regular, and they hired me. But I was actually sold here by my mother. And she knows that. Sold, sold in slave birth. Sold here by your mother. Sold mm -hmm. into... By my own mother. Mm -hmm. <gasps> and my twin, obviously. We went together. She got a lot of money for us. Oh my gosh, a two pretty. for one. Buy one, get one. It was a BOGO sale. Yes, a BOGO. A BOGO. <laughs> Motherfucking Macy's sale. <laughs> we love a deal. <laughs> we love a deal. <laughs> Also, one other bit you may kind of add on to that, like if you wanted to not necessarily just be uh, like a lowborn girl there, maybe you're from one of these other houses and you're yeah, like- I know, like, but is that too much? Cause I'm a princess in my mm -hmm. in the other game. You know what I mean? Is maybe you're, I mean, maybe you, Kayla, you, know, you just are a princess in your soul. It's just you, you can't fight it every, anymore, bitch. Every iteration, okay. She's, they're both the spare to a house somewhere. Yes! <laughs> oh, we made Kayla be a princess. Just like, we don't need girls, get them out of here. But do you yeah. know that? It could be, yes, you don't even know. You, I'm, I'm aware that okay. I came from a high station and I've been sold enough. So I there's know, another the secret that the queen knows mm -hmm. about you that you're afraid to ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's true. That's what is sense. that? Um, also, GMC Bob. Yeah, you said, OMG, I want to say something so bad, but I'm afraid it would influence the story you're creating. Collaboration. Yeah. If we hate it, we reject yeah. it. Like, <laughs> Ooh, Okay. I love it. Read it. Read it. Did you speak? Oh, my God. Read it. Uh, nice. Chris is in charge of pulling the frogs out of the water that have been made to walk the plank to feed the crew. You brought your lover We ate our up. lover. Just ate our lover. I'm so and sorry. I didn't know until afterwards, but I'm pretty sure it <gasps> you just got that his was our corpse. place. You're having to like, you're having Wait. to cut him up. You're having to process your lover's corpse to feed the crew. So malleable. <laughs> Eat love to survive. Very it malleable. Just tears down his face. <laughs> he's just crying as he's. Oh, I should have known when we made the undead queen. Are you the real bargaining yeah. chip, says Alex. <laughs> <gasps> well done, GMC Bob. You know, golf claps all around. Well That's done. Beautiful. Loved it. Love McCat said, oh, so good. Truly fantastic. I'm loving it. I'm having such a good time. Oh, my God. Okay. Man, I got thrown off course because that was such a yeah. brilliant little it addition was really to it. really good. So good. Yeah, it's good. Isn't this game so fun? I'm sorry. I get really excited about things That's that I like. Um, <laughs> like, All right. Kayla, the last question was yours, though, right? So is it my turn yes, now? Okay. Turn. I won't put a rule down. It will be an actual card. Oh my god! Oh my god, we're all in our... We run in the same circles, we're don't hot. we? We're <laughs> also, you know, like, let's be honest, you know, we support you, you that. Could you, could, you could just, like, love her as, like, you know, you're, you admire her kind of thing. Yeah. Justin, I, I see mean, that you've could, never no. played a game with me in my <laughs> damn life. No, I'm kidding. Like, like, uh, I, like, again, I think that I try to fight my base instincts of going the most direct route. But in this case, I just think it's more fun because I love, like, a lesbian, like, LGBTQIA plus group moment. Especially, like, I'm seeing this sexy dynamic here where... Do you see what I'm saying? Like she has this yes, lust for power. Yes, you're the strong, like yes, general. And she and, won't like, let me fly. You know, like she and and I want to be daddy, but she's like, she I wear the leash, Rachel. She has me on a leash, and I hold the <laughs> leash, but I can't. She won't let me, and I just. So I would say, when did I know I was in love mm -hmm. with the queen? Okay, y'all ready? This is gonna be so. Yeah. 
It's fine. I love We're it. just all going to get on board story. with my storytelling, okay? Yes. So, after that meeting with her nephew where she promoted him, I'm going to say that in the, like I went to her chambers afterwards, pounded down the door. I was like, "Listen, I didn't say that because she would kill me, but I was like, what's up with that? Hate that. And also, I'm out. You can let him have it. I am out. I'm going to go fight for Cattail Grotto, honestly. And she, though, she like, Sparta kicked me down onto the ground with her heeled oh, shoe and stood my. above me and pressed her heel into my <sighs> neck and mommy, said, mommy. you will stay like the good girl that you are. And it was over for me. And you did sat your ass down and now i am furious at her all of the time but you know in like a sexy fun way you know what i'm saying like yeah i love this so that's i am in love with her but i'm still probably gonna kill her probably you know what i mean <laughs> it could be both my pencil, love that. is complex <laughs> yeah, yeah just, <laughs> just yeah all right okay that is my turn man this is yeah okay also, I am reading like Rachel Gillig's one dark window story. And so some of my mind is just in the gutter because it's, 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 it's super, it's a fun time. Y'all should read it. Okay. All right. What was the last time the queen hurt you? Uh, oh, no. mm. Her grandson, her sweet dirty grandson. We all agree that That'd she's a horrible queen, right? At this point, she's awful. She sucks. <laughs> the question is, do we also suck at this point? That's the question. That's true. Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, she might hurt me, but I honestly think it was an accident, or like, Aww. that's how uh, I interpret it. Uh, so sweet. It's, so sweet. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, she got she got this big sword here in the photo. She was definitely just trying to maybe, like, you know, we're playing. I was real young. She was trying to knight me. Uh, Aww. and yeah, sword, sword sharp. Sword sharp. Do you have a little... scar? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. We're slipping into our voices. Mine's coming, Brienne of Tarth. No. <laughs> like, like, Queen of the North. Queen of the North. <laughs> Jamie Lannister. <laughs> like, like, I love you. <laughs> All right. Great, great, great. So now, Chris. All right. Um, there we go. And. The queen has a pet name for you. Do you appreciate it? God, you're getting the best. All questions. gas, no brakes. Yeah. <laughs> All gas, no brakes. <laughs> oh my Ooh, god. Name. What does she call Daddy Chef? D I yeah, right. She is a. Well, we call him, but what does she call him? Frog legs. Yeah. I'm what's curious. another word for frog legs? R ribbit oh. appendages. <laughs> 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 She said, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't think there is. I'm sure there is a French word for it, but we don't yeah, say right. it. It's true. Voulez vous bon temps rouler? I don't know. I'm curious um, about y'all's dynamic as opposed to Rachel's dynamic with the queen. Like, I am too. Is she dominant yeah. with you or do you? <laughs> also, who does she love more? That's true. Is she Does she really love it all, you know? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who knows <laughs> okay pet name um, pet name pet name um sweet cheeks idiot oh my god <laughs> i'm gonna go uh i'm gonna go i'm gonna schnookums, schnookums. I'm gonna go a little, yes. wait why she be as soft and cute with you maybe that's her true love rachel have i heard her call you this ever you don't have to answer Ooh. that, Chris. You don't have to answer that. Uh, but I'll make my own assessment. <laughs> you haven't heard it. But you you know how I had that question early in the beginning, right? Of why people are a bit jealous. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm um, the one. I'm one I'm of in the her people. Cabin a lot. Yeah. Um, after my in there. after my war meetings with her, when I am dismissed, he's just coming in with a tray and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A spring and a step. Sometimes I've lingered too long in the hallway, just like waiting for him to come out. It shouldn't take that long to serve frog legs. You know what I'm saying? Serve oh, frog we're legs. serving Why? frog legs. Do <laughs> 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 like, so... I appreciate uh, it? I absolutely appreciate it. I absolutely appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> 
kneeling it's beside her on. and feeding her personally. Just grapes on the vine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Ugh. Jesus. There's going to be lie. war inside of this camp. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, Kayla. It's your turn. Okay. Let's see. Ugh. Feel betrayed. <laughs> the queen once had you punished. What about the memory of that will stay with you forever? So, forever. Okay, we're going to say um, when she, you know, was having my sister, you know, dragged out of the castle. <gasps> Yeah. Like, I fell at her feet and, like, begged her to let her stay. And I'm going to say, like, I just, I, I touched, like, the hem of her skirts or something like that. And she had me whipped for it. And I still have the skirts of my neck. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. This is Making giving, have dramatic. you ever seen Memoirs of a Geisha? I have. We watched it together. You Best it friends. To me. Best friends. I love it. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Oh, it's so good. All right. Great. Wow. Mm -hmm. Horrible, horrible. We are just making a whole story here. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's me. That's me. It's back to my turn. Oh, no. Oh. Well, guys, it's coming to a head now, isn't it? I arranged for the queen to be ambushed on this journey. What okay. did they offer me? What kind of ambush? Are y'all like, y'all all met up and finally realized y'all all loved her and it's more of like a... Uh... <laughs> a love romance? I think this ambush? is... I think... No, 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 no. I, but I'm not going to say it's like... I, I am going to say it's a ruse. I'm going to say... At, we know at this point, I'm in love with her. And also, I want power. I want her to let me off the leash and stuff. Also, I kind of want someone dead. Just FYI. Um, I... <laughs> made a like this is a group of pirates okay that i am aware of and could prevent from patrolling our waters were she to give me control i know how to stop them but they reached out to me with a very intriguing offer they said to me that they could effectively in trade for the some of the jewels and things that are stowed on the ship from her collection, they could off one of the people there and make it look like this big scary event. I could come out a hero mm -hmm. and that then she would finally see, number one, one bir two birds, one stone, right? Like he's man's out of the man. picture, man's out, sweetums, sweet cheeks, <laughs> schnookums, <laughs> schnookums, gone. <laughs> Schnook has gone, but Open also coast. she's, she, I, I want to see her break. I want to mm -hmm. see her cry mm -hmm. and I comfort her and tell her I'm going to take care of her. But it mm -hmm. clearly it was daddy's, botched, the right? The real daddy's home. How did, y'all let me know as my players usually, how did that get botched? Why didn't it work? Like she, maybe it hasn't happened yet. That might be how she dies. Yeah, maybe that's, that's it. when we decide whether or not we defend her. So, so good. So smart. My players are the best players in the whole world. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. We're going to get there. Okay, great. Okay, so, Justin, it's back to your turn. <laughs> GMC bomb. <laughs> like, wild. Can't read that comment out loud. <laughs> All right. The queen sometimes shows interest in my, in my personal life. Uh, how do I respond oh. to that and why? Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. This that's woman like, is invasive. Is, is, are you saying that that's how you respond to it? You're just like, thanks, grandma. Yep, basically. <laughs> like, why? I was like, oh, you, you want to play trucks with me too? Oh, <laughs> but this implies that sometimes she does play trucks with you. It yeah. says she sometimes shows interest. Yeah, she yeah she pretends to knight him. Like she's been having, you know, she's been playing games with him his whole. No. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. <laughs> no. No, no, sorry. I'm reading the comments. GFC Bob, like too far, too oh far. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, I mean, it would make sense with her. She's crazy, but oops. yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, absolutely too far. We're we're not going there. We're we're absolutely not going Where's there. Where's the else? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, honestly, to the question, like, I am, yes, I think she's like shows interest, and I like want yeah, get her to play with me and stuff. But then maybe she's like more like trying to kind of trade me out to. Might maybe be a future heir kind of thing. Like, you know, all these other ones are probably going to die. We're going to cook them in some stew, whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I might be getting attention for other reasons. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Man, I feel uh, you really are the one that keeps bringing it back to you. I think she is an evil, evil person time and time again. But she, if she's treating one person well, it is her grandson. And she's actually very sweet to him, right? Mm -hmm. These sound kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's I, nice. think she, I think she's, you're a sacrificial lamb. She's fattening you for oh, the slaughter. I don't oh believe of this for God. a moment. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, Chris. <laughs> okay, let's see if I escape her love with this card here. <laughs> if you left or were dismissed from the queen's service, what life would you return to? Ooh, interesting. Oh, wow. Interesting. Life I would return to is I have a whole family in Cattail, not Cattail Grotto. Oh, I was Green about Haven. to say the opposing force. I know, honestly, yeah. I it's thought awesome. you were saying yeah. that. Yeah. Which one? Green Haven, where we're sailing from, or Cattail Grotto, and you've changed? Let's go Cattail Grotto, actually. I like it. I like it. The drama. Oh my gosh. The drama. Oh my gosh. So scary. Okay. No, but and you I say actually... family. What kind of family? Like you have a wife and kids or you have a mother and father? The, yes, absolutely. What is that? I have a wife and kids. <gasps> a couple oh kids. My... And they're just around the city. And some of them don't know. Some of them? <laughs> what do you mean some of them? <laughs> He's I a good cook. It's... Chef it's Daddy. Oh my <laughs> god. Chef Daddy is on all fronts. Absolutely not wild. Oh my gosh. Um, so, yeah, I think uh I would like the opportunity to make that right if I had the opportunity to Oh, he's decided get out of to this turn life that up. I'm in. Oh my god. Go back to just an ordinary life. But I'm a bit yeah, trapped right his now. his lover was the final straw. The straw that broke the camel's back. I'm He's croaker toes to the queen of death. You know, there's... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Let's Write, for joining us. Yeah, this this one has gone off the rails. It certainly has. Listen, Greenhaven is a mess. I don't know about it. I don't know. But I it's like... We're all finding, like, I think that it's cool in this game, You your character evolves so much as you go through it, you know? You start off, you're just like a chef serving frog legs. And then by the end of it, you got a whole family, you know? Yeah. Like, just tucked away in the enemy kingdom. The enemy kingdom of Cattail Grotto. Also, uh, the Cattail, uh, amazing. <laughs> like, okay, Kayla, your turn. Oh my God, why is she always threatening me? <laughs> I think that you are, go ahead. I, I have okay. opinions. The queen made a dire threat before this journey began. Do you think she'll carry it out? Hmm. So we're gonna say, again, with the dramatic theme, like she chose me to come on this and I'm like, I wanna know why, but she didn't tell me. All these bad things have happened. And she's like, you know, basically stay close and don't let me down. Or we're going to say she's she's threatening to take a hand. Just threatening to take one of my hands. Just one of your hands? So I stay close and I don't let her ha down. If I let her down, it's going to escalate from whipping to loss of a hand. To hand loss? Oh my... <laughs> Guys, this lady sucks. There's no way that we can defend her unless we are the murder hobo team. Unless I have Stockholm Syndrome. I think we're the baddies. <laughs> so, so curious, is it a is it a vote at the end or how do, how does the actual like? It's a little loosey goosey. I okay. I think that I've interpreted being as. It can be as simple as just saying, do you support her? I think when I've played it, I kind of like to carry it a little further, you know, like it, who's outnumbering like, and then that turns the tides or you can make decisions, you know, I think the story's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 Makes yeah. Sense. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. So now it's my turn. Now we are getting to like the end. I think we have maybe one to two more laps and that's going to be it. So question. What makes you want to abandon the retinue and who besides the queen makes you stay? Okay. 
I want to abandon it because there is a part of me at my core that knows this is unhealthy, that understands that I am giving in to my base instincts here and that I should, I could be healthier if I left. I could go just give this all up. Stop warring. You know, I see the end of the road. It, le- it leads to being a skeleton face. I don't want that for myself. <laughs> but I, Kayla, you are a little princess, right? Yes. A Where from? Do we know? Um, she's just, well, we say princess. She's a lady in a high house of Greenhaven. So of she's Greenhaven. not an actual princess. Princess. She's just part of a noble. She, she's a was it ward or like I, I can't remember what is it ward the generic term when it's like you know sent from another place. Oh yeah, when they're when they're kept captive at the other mm-hmm. person's is it, yeah. Okay, so I'm just a little slave ward. I'm going to say that. Oh, that no, no, no. Worse, <laughs> sadder. Oh, oh God. When your when your sis so I watched you and your sister. I watched you guys be taken in. Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all were just these teeny little tadpoles of children, okay? Y'all were so small, so weak, and, like, I understand why she did it. I understand why she took you from your house. Number it one, deal. It, was a, it was an excellent deal. It was a BOGO. She loves a deal. But also, <laughs> the, there were too many nobles, and there's always a risk of, you know the word, Kayla? We're f- afraid of it in, in Black Gum Hollow right now. Oh, a coup. A coup. A coup. We're a afraid coup. of a coup. So she had to diminish the ranks. She made a great deal to your mother for this. But I had a child once and lost them at a young age. So I really loved them. No. I really loved both of you. And I took care of you as much as I could. When she let your sister die, I... I stood by mercilessly and it has haunted me for years and I see this latest threat of her taking your hand or hurting you more and every time she whips you it's the only time that I feel connected anymore to my not humanity ribbit manny D. I don't know I feel, <laughs> I feel I feel in tune with my actual divine self which is a protector I will not leave this place while you are still here, and I don't think I'm going to let her hurt you more. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It's going to be awful if we're on opposite sides of do we defend this queen or not at the end. It really will. It really Very will. Tragic. Maybe I have to kill you. No I'm kidding. No, no. I, I think <laughs> at this point, I think at this, we'll we'll figure it out. But I think you at won't this let point, her hurt me, but you sure will. Listen, you know, you know like. <laughs> Yeah, nobody puts baby in a corner except for me. Okay. <laughs> All right, Justin. All right. What, what is something you do for the queen that has prepared you well for this journey? Uh, I, I'm definitely thinking my, my guy's a little, little bit of a little squire. Uh, you know, he he's, he got he got his own little sword, and he he's he's been training real good. He's he's gonna defend her and make her he's gonna look make the family look good when they get there. <laughs> I'm so sad. Oh, no. Okay, awesome. okay. All right, Chris. All right. This is the last card, right? No, I think we're going to do one more lap. Oh, Looking at more. the time, we're going to okay. do this one last more round. lap. Last mm-hmm. round coming. Got, got it. There we go. <gasps> oh, a real quick. Alex said, love the hole. If I can't protect you, I'll be the one to give you a swift end. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, that's, that's what I meant, right. yes. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Thank you, Alex, mm-hmm. for listening. I missed that piece. I'll end your suffering. <gasps> that is mm-hmm. what it is. Absolutely. I keep a vial of poison at my hip. <gasps> oh. Go ahead, Chris. That's fine. That's fine. Um, the queen made you feel something you'd never felt before. Do you want it to happen again? <laughs> Oh. Okay, get out of bed. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to select another card, you certainly can. Like, or you. Can I think uh, he's committed to the bit. The story is trying to tell us something. I, I think so too. Voice. We'll just 
guide I'm so you. I'm so glad I've dodged all of these bullets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris is bringing up a thing that I love now because Kayla and Chris never played like tabletop RPG and these storytelling games as much. Like sometimes I believe in the power of dice and of random stuff of telling a story, trying to tell a story. Let's let the story tell itself. Go ahead, Chris. We made you feel something you'd never felt before. What have I never felt before? Um, I would say um, unsurety in uh, love. She's made me disenfranchised with <gasps> romance. You know, my guy was kind of oh, oh my God. chef player out where he was, and then I got intertwined into this. And now uh, he's disillusioned, disillusioned, you know, jaded from the whole thing. Well, you only become a I'm chef happy. as like a, the love of the game. You're like a romantic kind of person, right? Yeah. Yeah. And now she's and, got uh, you dismembering corpses. And feeding yeah. People. We have all lost our humanity <laughs> along this journey, except for. Justin. <laughs> I'm driving here. Justin <laughs> in my trucks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, just oh, <laughs> room, 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 room. <laughs> Running around the uh, like the edge of the ship with his little like cart and just like rolling it. Slipping. I'm like, okay. Uh, and gets up. <laughs> occasionally, I like run into one of y'all and you know, sorry, excuse me, and he go back like oh, talk to the grandma like, why are you running late? Oh, I ran into so and so. They stopped me and they're like, oh, I guess I'm gonna whip them some more. Okay. <laughs> Better, Better get her. What, what what's it that that thing of like I would rather like just not know you know just just ignorance is bliss let yes. me be stupid okay just naive <laughs> Kayla it's your turn and then we're gonna take our last lap the queen once expressed a desire you knew you couldn't fulfill what have you done about it hmm. Let's gonna see. We're gonna say that she expressed a desire for me to like look more ladylike, like to try and look <gasps> better to like because I was like a little scruffy frog. And so like anytime like I can like do something extra, like I don't have to help in the kitchens back home, but I will if like people will give me money. I'm trying to like buy nice clothes so maybe if i look nicer she'll like me and she'll be nicer to me oh my god <laughs> a daughter's plight oh maybe they'll love me if i'm beautiful maybe she'll love me if i'm good enough that's horrible okay guys we are starting the last lap and then we're going to invoke the queen is under attack unless it comes up if it comes up we're just gonna play it out here but here we go Part of you wants this proposed alliance to fail. Why? I think that I already have my answer and this time I'm not gonna try to get creative with it. I think the reality is, is that I look, and it's, I think that I could ignore it better. When we were in Greenhaven and all of us are disparate pieces doing our own day-to-day -day stuff, it was okay. We've been on this ship though now for like days and days and I see how broken we are as a community, how far we've all come from who we are. I am starting to see the light. I don't know if I will make it to the light in time, but I think that's why. All right, last lap. Justin, your last question before we... What do I usually do for the queen? Why does that make you an unlikely choice for this journey? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I... Hmm. I mean, I, I might be like a cupbearer at some official things, but this is definitely like my first thing actually getting to go out, you know, away from the away from the castle and whatnot. Uh, so def definitely not experienced like the rest of you. Also kind yeah. of weird, though, that she's brought her very young grandson on this journey, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like, a weird choice. why has she suspicious. chosen to bring you a child? I don't know. I haven't seen my parents in a while. <laughs> my God, that was all this is hell. Oh, no. 
<laughs> he just casually threw it in. I don't know. I haven't seen my parents at all. Alex <laughs> says, you all are telling such a beautifully tragic story. Heart crown emoji. I know. I didn't think we were going to get here. It started off just being... <laughs> A little, a little, a little risque, and now we're sad. <laughs> Liam O'Brien. It's off with cannibalism, Rachel. It, it was did. always gonna get here. It was here. always gonna get yeah, here. Yeah. I thought we were just gonna all murder Hobo it, though. You know, I thought we were gonna be like, oh, you know. Okay, all right, Chris. This is your last one. Last one. Okay. There we go. Oh. The queen once offered you comfort. What about the memory of that? We'll stay with you forever. The tech said you were one dimensional, all right? Dig in, get stuck in. Let's go. The, the brittle bones will stay Maybe with you forever. You're the queen's comfort boy, and we're going to hammer that point home. Maybe this one you could toggle in a different way. Maybe this is the one moment of like kindness she ever showed, you know? Or not. Mm. Listen, maybe not. <laughs> Almost like you were saying, of like, at this point, why get creative? <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's fair. No, that's 100% fair. Go with your heart, um, whatever your heart tells you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess I will say uh, part of my, uh, what's the word for it? Escapades out on Cat's Hill Grotto uh, was with a noble woman's wife who frequented the restaurant often. And as a man right. on the run, the queen- Wait, hold on. Were you married before or after? Like, you were you already married when you started this affair with the uh, noble woman's wife? How hot or are you? Himself? He's so fucking hot, right? He's so he super hot. To totally. Like, yeah, I don't know why at the beginning- Everybody is getting with him. <laughs> yeah. And he's a bi king. He's Dude, got men, he's got after. women. <laughs> yeah. She calls him Chinookums. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I, I didn't think you were this hot I, at the beginning. I imagine food's not even that good. <laughs> <laughs> Those frog legs need salt. Yeah, listen. It, it was the whole boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah th listen, the the dinner disgusting. The candy, that eye candy, though. Oh my god. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Go ahead. He's only allowed to no, wait, keep telling you know, your story, people. but you know, I would love to know: Were you married when you started this affair with that noble person, or were you still a single frog? Yeah. My frog was married once and uh, never got divorced. And a scamp, a scallywag. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Right. And I would say uh, so the queen actually kind of got me out of a bind. And my guy was hoping that this would be a maybe a fresh start. And sadly, oh. it wasn't. You know, he kind of was. She used me. Oh. <sighs> Wait, but what about the memory stays with you forever being used? What about the memory of that will stay with you forever? Yeah. Oh. There's no escape, guys. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Kayla, in our actual game, it's time for War on Greenhaven. I'm calling mm -hmm. it. They they dead. <laughs> like, we gotta go. Greenhaven crash. This lady died 100 years ago. Surely they're nice now. Uh, they have to be. <laughs> like... <laughs> For reasons. Maybe your grandson's on the throne now. Oh, God. It's just stupid over there, you know? <laughs> like, no kidding. He's like, would you like to play with my twucks? <laughs> like, He's older than... Older. I'm sorry, would you like to play with my twucks? <laughs> like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, all right. This is... Um, no, that's it. That's it. Oh, that's that's it, the right? whole time? Yeah, because I, am, I was... Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Justin, you were... Who was the first one? Was it Chris? Uh, I was, yeah. Chris, yep. okay. okay. So me and Justin have one more. So pull one last. Wait, did you skip me? Did you go? Oh, I'm so sorry, Kayla. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. Pull your card. Okay. okay. <laughs> did Justin finally become king after so many years? I really hope so. I really hope so. <gasps> okay, go ahead, there Kayla. There is a rumor about you in the queen back at the royal court how did it start and is it true what's the rumor too i guess like hmm. the rumor is and i don't know if this queen has any kind of magic but the rumor is that she's like keeping me to maybe use as a blood sacrifice because my blood is from a noble house and it, you know, just started because it's an open secret that I was sold 
yeah, from this house. They just like, uh, and they know she practices dark magic. So you're just like keeping her alive. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. Yes, I was hoping we would get to ritualistic sacrifice. Yes, it's it's here of cannibalism. <laughs> ritualistic sacrifice. Is it true? <laughs> the, the the last part of that though mm -hmm. is, is it, it true? true? Yes, it is. <gasps> yes. It absolutely is. It absolutely is. Could I add I to it a You're little bit? You're trying to live forever. Could I add to it a little bit? Yeah, Justin, your character is a boy, yes? Because mm -hmm. you are young, right, Kayla? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm okay. going to say she's like 15, 16. Great. Like like, Y'all are both young. Children, because you're not an adult until a different age. What if for the ritual... Wait a minute, I had a boyfriend. Wait a minute, hold on, that might not track. A boyfriend that was oh, also fair. his lover. That's fair. Okay, okay. She's 18. Not a child <laughs> sacrifice. Not a child <laughs> sacrifice. Got it. Okay, all right. I'm going to pull back from this. But... but Good catch. Good catch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Not, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What if, what if this instead, though, okay? What if, like, you are the preferred vessel, Okay. But she's mm -hmm. got a backup plan, Justin, just in case, you know, you got, you always got to have your B route. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Is Justin Alora's dad? Truly? That's what GMC Bob said. And absolutely not. <laughs> totally different kingdoms <laughs> and hundreds of years apart. Like, yeah. Also, Alora's clever. All right. Mm -hmm. I keep casting aspersions upon the child, by the way. I understand he is a teeny little tot. He's very cute and I love him. He's so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Like he's just a kid. I'm being very, very cruel. They oh no. <laughs> it's rubbing off on me. Okay, my turn and then Justin's turn, and then we're done. The queen once asked you why you serve her. Did she get an honest answer? She asked me why I serve her. I will say my answer at the time was that I believed she would be the person under whose reign we would unite the three kingdoms of the Blue Marshes. Mm. I have an ideal of a combined Blue Marsh. I don't think that we need all of these kings. It's just creating conflict. And I did answer honestly at the time. I thought she was the queen for the job. I don't think that is true anymore. Justin with Beautiful. the last one. Oh boy. What's her grandson getting into now? Oh. When was the god. last time the queen embarrassed me? Oh my god. I definitely think it was at some nice dinner and I, I you know I, I was definitely I was definitely younger. Uh and I I didn't make it to where I needed to go. And it, it, it definitely embarrassed her, and so she had to, you know, embarrass me a little bit to, you know, get it off of her. If you, if you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. I'm assuming he had like a bad like just an accident. Oh, and she just like, what did she yeah. do? Definitely like kind of scolded me there in front of everyone. Like it was a nice dinner, mm -hmm. like, you know, guests and whatnot. And mm -hmm. yeah. could that be the, so in the build, cause we're about to launch into the mutiny, right? Mm -hmm. So can we say that that is the night of the attack? Like there was a dinner here, like on the ship oh. and you walked away sad from the room to your little chambers, just holding your little truck. Rocks. Little truck. Mm. I like sad stories, guys. I think they're fun. Oh, yeah. Made a sad one yeah. and also a well, risque one. Also but... risque. I, I, I don't think it should be here. I don't think it should be here on on the boat. I think this was okay. probably like you know near okay. or you know, near ish, but not 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 on the boat itself. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that, that way. The noble houses could be there to make it truly humiliating. Truly mm. humiliating. Not humiliating in front of us. We're all crazy. Yeah, we're cares. cannibals. We're disgusting cannibals. Some of us don't know it. I think we all know it, right? We all mm. know. Oh, it's horrible. Okay, but so does somebody have Stockholm syndrome. That's a real question. Listen, maybe at this point, though, in the rotation of the game, and again, because we're playing on Roll Twenty, which is such an awesome tool for when you want to play with your friends who aren't super close. At this point, though, you would be getting to the point where someone would draw 
the queen is under attack. Ugh, and it's just so hard to see, but it's, mm-hmm. it, I promise it is the queen is under attack. Do you defend her? That is the card. And now we go in the rotation around the group and we are get to say what we do. Now, for those who are going to see this on YouTube and maybe jumped forward to the end, just as a very brief recap, the game kind of ends there, at least in the way the rules are written. You say if you defend her or not, and that's the end. I've had the opportunity to play this on like Instagram and in the... Um, discord and we built a really beautiful story at the end i would say that's my preference to give closure so in keeping with the story that we've set i the captain of the guard i have set up this ambush it's not from cattail grotto it is actually a ruse it's a pirate ship in the middle of the night attacks us and begins to board with those planks and everything. We're all, anybody, I don't know if anybody's awake, but they're all boarding the ship at this point. I want Chris's character. He is supposed to die in this combat as part of the agreement. You don't have to, you can say whatever happens to you and everything. I'd love it if you got away. Um, (laughs) And I am supposed to have a moment of heroism to, to get, my power so starting with you chris it's so beautiful that justin's the last one also i love that i know her family yeah so okay so do you defend we're on the boat yeah pirates attacking you had a uh, a poison pouch on your side correct i sure do i sure do i'll say through the scuffle of the ship it was kind of rolling down right and i got it and it has, you know, kind of a sigil of an admiral because there's a big ranking system on these ships here. So I kind of know that you're up to something. And my guy... I've uh, marked my poison vial. <laughs> Rookie yeah. mistake. <laughs> yeah. You, you're just so... Uh, Your noble, signet you know. ring is yeah. burned into the court. To commoners, we see it a mile away. It's but hubris. Nobles, right? You guys would never notice. It's the flaw of hubris. I don't think that anybody would even question it. Keep going. Keep going. Um, now, I also, though, hold no love for the queen. <gasps> so, <gasps> knowing that something's up, mm-hmm. I made a small attempt to poison her. I don't think it's going to work, but at least it might dim her senses. You're and as no- that goes on, oh my god! I take another person who you know I was having to fling with on the ship, convince oh them to get a little uh, raft, and <laughs> we go overboard and we're swimming. <gasps> you're not defending. Your you are no. Not only not did you not queen, defend her, you maybe poisoned her a little bit to make her weaker. <laughs> How how did you try to poison her? Did you like sneak to her chambers and put it in like her food that she's gonna eat later, or what? What did you do? When did it you was in to tonight's. Uh, yeah, because it's uh, in the middle of this pirate attack, right? It was in her supper earlier, I suppose. Oh, so I lost it at some point in the day. It's, yeah, oh, yeah. I've been I knew panicked maybe all a day, day or two ago. I've been panicked mm-hmm. for the last like day and a half. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Okay, that's one person not defending the queen. Kayla, mm-hmm. are you All defending right. the queen? We're gonna we're gonna do a little collaborative moment here, Rachel. If you're okay with, I that. am. So, so the pirates are you know coming on board, and we're gonna say that my character is like walking up the stairs from like the captain's quarters where she is, and like she was like, you know, I don't know, doing laundry or something. She got a bucket of water, and like she sees the pirates. And she's like frozen there and she sees you and she looks back to the queen and then she looks back to you and your decision here, because she's malleable too, is got to decide whether she defends the queen or not. (gasps) Do you, as the person who's been like a mother figure to her, the only, you know, person that would, you know, not too much love because you're kind of a standoffish person, but maybe you would brush a hand through her hair as you walked by, like she's looking to you for guidance. Oh my God, Does Kayla! In the queen or not? Are you GMing me? <laughs> I guess. Wow! I this is I'm what it is, Kayla. This is what it is. Okay. 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 All right. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I. 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 Oh my God! Which is more? Which is mm-hmm. more like? Which is the better story? Comes is the question. Mm-hmm. I. It is. 
Do you want to tell a tragic one, or do you want to tell a happy one? To the blood sacrifice. I think, mm -hmm. I think with everything that's going on, the thing that I find to be most compelling is that we're in the middle of this, like, ruse that I set up. I think it's the most compelling for me to look around. People are getting just slashed and just everything. And I look down at you, my now daughter. And I like run my hand through your hair. At, you're a rivet. You don't have hair. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, I brush your hair, cheek. Like, I brush your cheek. Because remember, we're all rivets, guys. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I, I brush forgot. your cheek. <laughs> Lost brush thought. some warts. And knowing that no, the works. poison is gone as well, there is no mm -hmm. way for me to give you that swift end. Mm -hmm. I am going to, having seen also the chef go overboard with someone else that he's running away with, everything is falling apart. I mm -hmm. don't want any part of it anymore. I, you're not a child, but I'm going to grab mm -hmm. your hand and I'm going to pull you along and find one of those other boats and we're l we're lowering it down into the water. We're, we're going, going to. I. We do not My defend the queen. Me. We do not defend we do the not. queen. We start a new life. Where do we, do we start a new life in Black Gum Hollow? Oh my goodness. Can we? Like, yes. Because we don't want to mess with that. Can we make a cameo in the Bitch, next, it's my like, story. Yeah. We, yeah. Absolutely. We start a new life That's in Black Gum Hollow. That's the thing where our boat will go. Because we were halfway there. We were halfway so, there. Yeah. We start a new mm -hmm. life in Black Gum Hollow. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Okay. I never I never know the pain of the whip again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. All right. Now, now, Justin, here's the thing. You okay. get to make the whole decision here because we've just left. It's not a defend or yeah. not defend. It's just we left. I mean, even, well, I'm saying even if I defend, I'm still just a child. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you maybe. Uh, well, I'm imagining, you know, all of this is happening. Pirates are storming on the ship. I assume there's a thunderstorm, of course. Uh, of course I, I step out. They're, they're climbing on. Y'all are all climbing off. I'm like, Oh no! I run back to my room. I grab my sword and I run back to Grandma's room. Uh, and I try to defend. Uh, I stand outside her door, and she eventually opens it, hearing the ruckus. Uh, and then, you know, peeking out there, seeing all of them. I would be curious what y'all think her reaction is to seeing little kid Does uh, trying she really to defend. Does she really love you? That's the question here. Uh, that's, what, that's what I'm Does asking y'all. What, what do y'all think? Is she, is she, does she have like an emergency the ritual kit to, like y'all were describing earlier? Nice. You know. Oh my uh, god, does she sacrifice him? Oh my god. Can we say that she like looks out her window and sees us rowing mm -hmm. away with you on the boat and she knows she has lost her mm -hmm. one blood sacrifice? Also, I think if we can't make a decision, we should roll for it. Yes! I, 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 definitely, yeah, honestly, I definitely think she fear, should be like every, everything else is gone, mm -hmm. hope is lost, other than like she has all she has left is a child defending her. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, you know, pirates, you know, storming on the ship. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Sacrifice the child or do they go down together? That's the thing. Like, it, oh, okay. So, Justin, if you have an answer to that question, I say you give it. If you want us to roll dice for it, we can to see if she tries to sacrifice you. Uh, I was curious y'all's thoughts on it. All right. that, that's all. That's all I'm thinking. I think. Well, 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 well guys there, he's like, Sir, Sir Trevor's going to defend you. And, you know, just standing there in, in his little hallway. Uh, oh, you're in the hallway oh just try, trying to, but I don't think he knows what's going on behind him. I, I think that it would be, to me, I think it would be too fast for the ritual to take effect, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, what if actually all along she said this is a peaceful mission, nobody believes her. What if the ritual site is at Cattail Grotto? What if that's what she's trying uh, to do? And that's she why she can't come on the adventure. Yeah. Yeah. So she can't kill him here unless she just needs his blood or his body. I say that she's not gonna kill you right now. Is what I would say. Like, but in the poison they perhaps save his life in the moment. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's she, bad she enough to, to take on all the pirates by herself. She had a sword in that picture. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I think that, so, Justin, can tell, I feel like you should tell more story. I have a die just mm. in case, okay? Oh, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get hope and fear dies, though. What am I doing? <laughs> but you keep telling us the story. So she opens it. She sees you there. She sees her 
her blood sacrifice fleeing through the open window. But what does she do? Seeing basically everyone else leaving, I'm assuming she's going to see me. Obviously not going to be able to do much. Uh, pro probably. Uh, just grabs me, kind of pulls me into the room, shuts the door, you know, does the whole locking it all. Uh, and just kind of like tell him, probably telling me that I should have just fled with them. Oh, uh, she has a last moment of humanity? <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Well, listen, we have truly put ourselves in a situation where who knows what's going to happen here because we have all fled. The child mm. is the only one defending her. I say that this is a time for a good mm. old dagger heart special. Our mm. hope and our fear dies. Is yeah. this a uh, success at being like... She was, uh, she yeah. was defended or I'm going to yeah. roll as her. If you guys are com if you my players are comfortable mm. with my storytelling as a GM, I am going to in this moment become the undead queen and I will roll hope or fear. A DC in this situation, I'm going to say the DC is pretty hard. I'm going 15. to 15. I would say 15. Yeah. So, let's see what I roll. Hope means she's she's winning. Oh. 15 oh. DC. Well, not hope, but passing the check. Yeah. It is a six on the fear die. And it is a three on the hope die. It is a nine <gasps> with dead. fear. This is a, horrible. a catastrophic failure. So it's tragic. In this case. She there. He's really sad. He's a baby. In this moment as well, I'm going to say almost everyone flees the ship. She begins seeing people diving overboard, people rowing right. off in okay. these areas, and she realizes that her life is going to end. And instead of the only thing that could have saved her is to have cultivated some relationships, some level of loyalty, some humanity here in the group. But instead of doing that, she has sought all of her life to just extend her own life selfishly and looking into the face of her grandson and realizing that he's going to die because of this as well. Yeah, bleep. I'm going to say it draws her humanity in that last moment, but it is too late. The pirates there, realizing it is undefended, they make their way to this last cabin door and you weeping, she has lost the ability at this point in her life. She has lost the ability to cry even, but you weeping and crying out for your parents, they barge the door down, they find you in there and you cannot leave a witness. And in those last moments, go ahead. Do you want to add anything? Just extra craziness. Feel Please. free to say no and continue with what you're saying. No, 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 go ahead. You can pick him up, turn him into a pirate. <gasps> I feel like that would also be fun for him. <laughs> like a Wesley moment for the first yes. ride. Oh my, oh my God. God, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, okay. okay. They <laughs> rip this frog queen up first and I'm going to say it is a Caesar moment, okay? They just stab her over and over, the shadows dancing in the candlelight over into the backdrop. You seeing this though, hiding, she's hid you in the wardrobe or something, watching it through a crack. They rip through the room and finally open it, but you are seen by, I'm introducing another card. Where are they? Here we go, guys. Here we go, guys. Hold on just one second. There is a pirate queen in this deck oh, and right. I am going to find oh her. Give me just a moment. I'm, I don't know why I'm doing her. <laughs> She's in roll 22, so I'm going to find her in both locations. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me just a second while I grab her out for roll 20. There she is. Wow. Yeah. All right. I'm going oh, to say... Wow. The Pirate Queen. This art, by the way, is by Real Cabezas. Uh, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, though I think it's probably pretty close. Um... And I'm going to say that she, in this room, walks in. You see just her lone shadow at this point. And she is looking over the spoils of her war. 
She though hears a whimper from that dresser, that, that wardrobe, and she turns. You see her face, that the scary face of a woman who has seen years of combat. She is though a mother herself. No, she is a grandmother herself. And she comes to the wardrobe and you see her a open it gently. And she looks down at you and says, we come out with the sword. It's the little sword I got. Oh, oh my god, Justin! So cute. She's going to a sword in one hand and a truck in the other, tears down his face. <laughs> She's going to pull out her own cutlass and swipe it across your sword. It clatters to the ground. You are afraid there, and she's going to say, Well, you're going to need more practice with that boy. Come on. And you are now with the Pirate Queen, and we never know what happens to that. The last of the undead queen's line, because as we established, the nobilities of the nation of Greenhaven have gotten unruly. A coup absolutely comes as part of this, and her whole line is destroyed. But one last prince existed out there in the world. I love this. I get goosebumps. This is so fun. We did it! <laughs> she, did it. <laughs> she, she died. That was beautiful. That was such a good idea to make him a little pirate child. <laughs> I yeah, fucking cool. love these kinds of games that have like the random stuff because I just feel mm -hmm. like if you trust in dice and if you trust in cards, mm -hmm. they want to tell a story. It was beautiful. Yeah, thanks for rolling the dice. I didn't have the heart to kill the kid. I was like, <laughs> we're going to have to roll, man. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> I was going to kill the kid. I was like, well, a failure. <laughs> like a failure is yep. bad. But that was a beautiful way to add it. And then we got to introduce another queen. What a good mm -hmm. like cyclical journey and everything. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh my god. GMC Bob says, is Justin behind the attempted coup of Alora's crown? <gasps> Who knows? <laughs> Usurper. I don't know. Um, we have... Oh my god. But we have... He's part of the mist. Remember, we have characters in the world now that are... We don't know what's happened to. We, we know for a fact that we had the captain of the guard and her new daughter have started a life at least some point. Again, this is a century ago in Black Gum Hollow. But we also know that there was a pirate queen roving the seas. And I assume she's a ribbit, right, guys? We're just staying ribbits with all this, right? Okay. Um, know, roving the a seas. cannibal chef. Yeah. But, oh, my I love God. her. Rowing away in with night. 32 children. Moving away beautifully. <laughs> He just, we don't even know who you went away with. It was definitely the I finest ribbon on board. like we need, it needs to be part of the lore that everyone jokes that they're somehow related. Like he's this figure in history that is, you know, this cannibal chef and everyone con. jokes that they're like, like related the to him. And so, yes. yeah. Oh yeah. my <laughs> he God. He so many children. Oh my Anytime God. Anytime they do something questionable, they're just like, that's chef daddy coming out in me. Anora, <laughs> you remember how at the beginning in your character, I don't know why I called you Anora, Kayla, you know how at the beginning of, of our game, uh, you got to choose character options for the bard and you chose the love story, right? The novel. Mm -hmm. Is it about him? But oh, it's a romanticized oh version. Mm -hmm. The tales mm -hmm. of whoever that is. Chef daddy. Chef is what it needs daddy. to be. <laughs> the tales Known of Chef Daddy. Names. Many pet names. <laughs> the titillating tales of Chef Daddy. The titillating tales of Schnookums. <laughs> Broke your toes himself. Oh, love oh it. my god. I love it. Oh, Throwback. That was he has so a cookbook funny. and shit, like in uh, Cattail Grotto. And it's like, <laughs> at the beginning of every chapter, it's a different recipe. It's a oh. different cannibal recipe. Oh my gosh, GFC Bob, thank you so much. You all are so awesome. That was, that was so much fun, you guys. This is... This is Kayla and Justin, your first time playing for the Queen, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, it was fun. You yeah. liked it? It's nervous, but it was really easy. So easy. Yeah. And again, like you could just pull it out and we went several rounds and everything, but it's such mm. an easy game, you know. Um, I love how self-explanatory it is. Yeah. Like everything you need to know is on the card. Yeah. And again, yeah. I think like the vibes are so different depending on who you choose. If you choose the cyberpunk queen, you know, then you have a totally different story on your hands. Um, there's an office lady. There's a drag queen in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's incredible. There was the birthday queen or the whatever. The birthday yeah, queen, yeah. the Amy Carrero queen, her very self. I know that doesn't make sense to a lot of people here. That's okay. Yeah. Like so many <laughs> options. There's also like a, like a spring queen as well bringing some like horror movie stuff so many yeah All absolutely right. so um thank you guys so much for joining us tonight again this is for the queen it is a brand new game it is it there was an edition before darrington press stepped in to support it um remember that it's by alex roberts is is incredible a lot of tabletop game designers keep it on hand as like a quick way to play collaboratively with people um but thank you guys so much for joining joining um mc cad cinda window alex it was so so great for you to join thank you so much um gmc bob squire we, we truly had a lot of people it was fantastic um and that's for the queen by darrington press I hope that you guys tell some beautiful stories in your own time off stream please feel free to join the discord and tell us about them too and that's it for us tonight. So thank you guys so much. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye.